It is 6.33, and this week, Connecticut's 89th governor will be sworn into office, and there will be several opportunities for the community to be part of history as Governor-elect Ned Lamont takes his oath of office. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live this morning. She's at the state capitol to tell us all about it. Good morning, Carolina. Good morning. Well, this Wednesday will be filled with many different festivities celebrating that new gubernatorial team. And if you can't attend, not to worry, because Channel 3 will have you covered on air and on our Channel 3 app. As Governor Daniel Malloy leaves office, Governor-elect Ned Lamont will become Connecticut's 89th governor. He takes over a state facing a deficit of close to $2 billion. Lamont and Lieutenant Governor-elect Susan Bysowitz have formed a transition team and 15 different committees since being elected. I got a full tank. Premium. We're hitting the ground running. The community has several opportunities to participate in this week's festivities. On Wednesday at 1230, the swearing-in ceremonies will be held at William A. O'Neill State Armory in Hartford. The inaugural parade will follow the ceremonies. It runs from the armory past the Capitol to the intersection of Trinity and Elm Streets. Both of these events are free. The inaugural ball is also open to the public for a fee. Tickets can be purchased online with reduced prices available for young professionals. Channel 3 will have team coverage of the governor's inauguration on Wednesday starting at noon. And tonight, we will look back at the legacy of Governor Daniel Malloy. Keep in mind that these events are on a first-come, first-served basis, so you'll want to get there early. Reporting in Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.